Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? My name is Joey Lilly and I'm the host of Barbecue Right. Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbecue Right. We're on today's episode, man, we're doing something totally different. I went fishing and I bought in a big brought in a side of salmon. So that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to be smoking a fresh side of salmon over some apple smoke on the kettle grill, about 300 degrees. This is going to be a tequila lime smoked salmon. All right? So let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm really wanting to get into this, so I'm going to hush my mouth, and we get ready to get busy. Giddy up. All right, so to do this salmon, man, as always, you got to start out with some salmon. So we got it right here. We're not going to do a marinade per se. We're just going to do a glaze. All right. I juiced three lemons and threw about a tablespoon of minced garlic in here. To that, we're going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce. We're going to add a quarter cup of tequila. And we've got about a quarter cup of honey. Now, everybody knows, man, honey's a little sticky. It could take a while for that to get on out of here. So I tell you what, I'm going to go in with the, my super big whisk. You know, let me tell you what I should have done. If I'd known I was going to want a quarter cup of honey, I probably should have poured like a half a cup out. Then I would have ended up getting it. Tell you what, that's good enough. We're not going to edit that out. So we're going to head and give this a mix. Huh? What do you think about that? Now listen, got to be careful at the start. You want to mix slow, all right? Because you got a lot of liquid in there, just some honey in there. Okay, then you can get a little faster. All right, so that's looking pretty good about right there. That looks good. So we'll set this right here. Now, our seasoning for this is going to be very simple, all right? We're wanting this glaze to be the show. So we're not going to overpower this seasoning with anything. At the end, we're not going to add any compound butter or anything crazy like that. We're just doing the salmon fish, and we're wanting this to glaze and simple spices to run the show today. All right? A little S&P. That's it. Let's take a little bit of salt. Just have at it. Be careful with it for all those sodium people out there. Got to watch salt intake. Hit up a little bit of pepper. All right, all right, come on, pepper. All right, here she comes. All right, I thought that pepper might have been hanging out with the paprika. Y'all, y'all probably noticed paprika hadn't been on the show for a while. All right, so there we go. So there's that. I don't have a glove. Okay, it would be better with the fish, but I'm gonna just pat this in just a little tad. We've got our kettle grill going. It's pretty well up to temp. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and glaze this. And then we're going to let this sit for a few minutes on this salmon to let it just kind of tack up a little bit. Then we're going to be throwing it up on the kettle grill. So let's go ahead and get this on over here. We'll show you how we do this. So we'll throw our glaze on there. We're going to throw it all the way down. Now listen, let me tell you something else I also did. I went ahead and kind of squared this salmon up some. Alright, so... You know, all the, the small edges and little things like that, gone, so to speak. Now, I'm probably going to reglaze this about halfway through. And I think I'm going to maybe throw a little bit more butter on it. And I think I'm going to probably throw a little bit more honey in it to thicken it up a little bit. So, we're going to let this set for just a few minutes. Everything's good on the grill, then we're going to hit it up. And for today's cook, let me show you how we're going to do this. We're doing a basket today on the Weber kettle. All right, we got a tumbleweed here. We're going to light that. We're going to throw some of the coals on there. We're going to leave this top open for about 15, 20 minutes or so. Going to let that catch on real well. We're going to be cooking with some apple wood today. We'll throw that on there when it catches up real good. We're going to want this to run about 275 or 300 today. Okay, we are running at 300 degrees. Let's go ahead and throw a piece of this apple on there. 
we won't use both pieces. And we also need to go ahead and throw our grate on there. And let's go ahead and throw our grate on there. And I was wanting to tell you a little something about the top of the kettle grill. When you run a kettle grill, when you have your heat source over here in a basket like we do, you notice one side has the temperature gauge and one side has the exhaust. You want your exhaust opposite of your heat source, so we put that over there. Now yes, it can give you a little bit of a false reading over here, and that's why sometimes we also use probes. Today's cook, everything will be okay. This is fairly accurate. Not perfect, but it's close enough. We're going to run the top wide open, and the bottom we are going to do half. All right, we've got things rocking and rolling the way we would like, so we're going to put this on. We're going to bunch it up as well. Bunch it a little tad. We've got our, our Weber running about 350. Man, you can smell that apple. I'll tell you, man, this is going to be some good stuff. You're going to like it a lot. I know I am. Oh, wow, this is looking really good. Let's go ahead and tempt this. We're at the 20-minute mark, by the way. All right, we got a ways to go. <laughs> It tempted at 103, so we're going to go ahead and put some more on this. We're going to drizzle it. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we're going to cook this to an internal of 145. All right, now there's some people that they like it much less than 145, and, and that's okay. I just happen to like mine a, a little bit more done. Man, I'm telling you, you can really smell the honey and the tequila in this. It smells very good. So we're going to put the top back on it. We're going to let it go about 15 minutes. We'll check it again. All right, let's open it up and take a look what it looks like. Oh, yes, that looks very nice. Let's see what it's going to temp at. Ooh, nelly, 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 keep going. All right, we got 145. Only thing left to do is plate this rascal, and we're going to serve it up. All right, everybody, only thing left to do, throw a little bit of garnish on this jewel and have at it. So we got a little parsley. We're going to throw on there. Going to top it. Watch that move, huh? Oh, oh make, make it rain, Lily. Make it rain. All right, that's a good show off. All right. Let's give this a shot. Oh, that's, that's flakiness right there. That's some good flaky stuff. Oh, yes. Let's see if we can get that in the camera for you there. Mm. Oh yes, that is very nice. Let's get, you know what? Uh, guy ain't even gonna use a fork, man. I some of this skin too. Mmm. That's good. Okay. Yeah. This is delicious. This is delicious, man. I don't know what else to say. Dude, this is delicious. I ain't even lying, especially today. Dude, that salmon itself tastes so good. You can taste the honey in it, the tequila in it, it actually took quite a while to cook. It took like an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. You could taste a bit of the apple in there. This is really good. This is a very pleasant dish, it really is. So to wrap this up, what we did, smoked salmon. We took soy sauce. Dude, I always forget what's in it. We took soy sauce, honey, tequila, the juice of three limes, made a marinade with some garlic as well. Very simple seasoning, salt and pepper on top of it. Smoked it at 325, 350 for roughly an hour and 15 minutes. I actually did baste it like three times during the cook. And this turned out magnifico. I know I just butchered that word, but that's okay. Listen, you are really going to enjoy this. This is delectable. Listen, I want to thank y'all for tuning in again and watching and putting up with this guy and all his antics. Thank you for liking. Keep on sharing. We're wanting this channel to grow and that's how we do it. Is we share, we click the bell, and we hit all. And remember, not only are we just on YouTube and Facebook, we are now on Instagram and TikTok. 
So listen, hit us up all those places, you'd be glad you did. Giddy up.